Thank you. Yeah. That's okay. Um, yes. Thank you. Thank you for coming. Uh, obviously, I thought a good basketball game for a little bit there. Anyways, I thought you know we had our chances. Congratulations to Seton Hall. They're well coached. They got good players. Like I said, we have a lot of respect for them. Um, we're close though. We're close. Uh, we got to learn how to finish some things up, and I got to do a better job uh, getting these guys to execute down the stretch. But uh, you saw some minutes there where uh, we have a chance to be a good basketball team. We're a little young, uh, but uh, again, tip of the hat to, to Seton Hall and the good job that they do. And again, well coached and good players. Uh, we're going to get there too. We'll get there too. Well, it was the first four minutes of the second half was the difference in the game. You know, he scored two point, four points on layups. We didn't come out of halftime the right way. Um, you know, we were kind of locking them up in the first half, and we gave them freebies, and that got their energy going. Um, you know, they out rebounded us. I was worried about toughness. I'm always very concerned with that with our team, um, and they got us on the backboards. Um, you know, they got a lot of weapons, and I thought they got the ball into the post. And uh, Delgado did a good job. And then there were a lot of whistles going on. And so, it, you know, just kind of bogged down that second half really for us. Steve, to play, to play a late December game with that kind of atmosphere, just to comment on what it was like in the building for you? Yeah, I mean, I thought it was great, you know. Um, again, great, great environment here today. I thought our guys never flinched with it. And that was a good thing for a young team. Um, I thought we put in a couple guys that haven't played a lot, and they were ready to respond. Diallo had good minutes. Eugene had good minutes. Bodes well for us, you know, moving forward. I always play any guy I think can help us win that particular game. And uh, I thought our guys responded to the environment. We just have to do a, a better job of, of 40 minutes and, and, you know, when we have our opportunities, you know, cashing in. And I thought they did a great job with that. Yeah. Yeah. When the whistles, yeah, when the whistles blowing the way it was in the second half, it's it's really hard to get in, into a running kind of game. And we got more stops in the first half, so we stopped them. You know, it's always the first pass in your fast break is when you stop somebody. You know, they scored too many layups. We had some breakdowns. Um, you know, and and that helped them. And then the whistle blows and it chops the game up a little bit. So. Uh, but we have to be able. We're tough enough to play in those bog and down games, and they have more veterans than us. But you know, we got enough guys that have been through some wars, so we have to do a better job. No, I mean he's a really good player. I mean I watch every tape on him, and uh, you know I thought we had enough big guys. We just kept running big guys at him. Um, you know, I didn't want him to get it in spaces where he was comfortable. I thought we did a good job in the first half. I thought he was a foot off the block. Uh, but, you know, our offense hurt us in the second half. Our offense didn't help our defense. Um, and then, uh, you know, he got a couple of our big guys down low, but he got us on second shots too, which, which we talked about at length. Um, that's his best strength is rebounding the basketball. And, uh, you know, he's a terrific passer, so he bodes a lot of problems for you when he catches it in the post. Coach, how do you like to prepare for the Big, for the big Ten? Yeah, I mean, I think we're prepared for the Big Ten. I mean, you know, teams are great. This team's well, excellent. So uh, we're going to have to go on the road. We're going to some real tough places. Um, we showed some good signs today, though. I, you know, people have a lot of questions about us, which which is fine. I like this team. I like our whole roster. We're going to get better. We got to execute. We got to add to our roster. Um, our defense in the first half was fantastic. We got to figure out how to play that for 40 minutes. Thought we had a good game plan going in. Um, you got to make some plays, though, in the second half. And they have a couple guys, Carrington, and, and some guys that can make some plays. We don't have those emergency offensive players, uh, but we'll be getting some. Tara, and then Steve, do you feel like this is something you'll enjoy going forward? No, in no. Well, I mean, the loss, I thought you were saying, you know. No, this is great. I like good basketball. I think people did see good basketball tonight. Um, I watched the last two years that we played, um, you know, Seton, Seton Hall. And I think you know people enjoy this, uh, and, and and we'll we'll be back and we'll be more competitive the next time. What was it like for you, Sierra? Yeah, I mean, I you know I just prepare every game the same way. You know, we have Wisconsin coming up next, and um, you know, 
I think this is a great game. I think it's great for New Jersey. I think they saw two good basketball teams. You know, I think they saw some good players. And I think they saw a real competitive basketball game. I'm disappointed we lost. Um, but I look forward to playing them next year, and I look forward to having them in our gym. Hey, Coach, can you talk about uh, Giallo? You know, he played eight minutes all season coming to the game. He gave you 18 tonight, four blocks, four, yeah. three blocks, four rebounds. Um, yeah. Is that something you anticipated? You yeah, thought? I mean, we were definitely playing them because um, of the matchup and uh, the way fouls broke and, and the, the way the game kind of played, and he played well. And it's a tip of the hat to him. I always tell everyone, ready, I'll play anyone at any time. And that's a perfect example, and it bodes well for our whole roster. You know, just be ready, and um, you never know when your number's called. And his number was called tonight, and he, he played well. So I was real pleased and happy for him. Mental toughness, physical toughness, it's something we preach, and, he, and he's had it sitting on the bench not playing a lot and being able to respond tonight against a good player. Two more. Two more. Two more. Two more. Yeah, you know, I don't worry about other people. Like, I see us practice every day. I know our weaknesses. I know our strengths. We're going to be really a tough team. And uh, we're going to defend, and we're going to get better defensively. we got three more defenses we're putting in, in place as we move into league play. So we, we are going to continue to get better. We have a young roster. We have one senior on the roster. And a lot of these guys are playing for the first time. Um, so we're going to continue to get better, and we're going to continue to recruit. and. Uh, we'll be a presence here in New Jersey, and I'm very confident we're going to build a program that people are going to say is pretty good. Sam and then Jerry. How did you see Johnson and Sanders play off each other against kind of a step up in competition? With the yeah, I mean, they, they got to get, you know, better. They, they do. Um, guard play is very important to us. You know, way too many turnovers. Uh, it wasn't just them. It was, you know, the whole team. Um, but they have to play better together for sure. Notice that too in practice, um, you know. But they will. We'll watch film. They do a good job of devouring it. We'll make some adjustments, and we'll uh, get those guys playing better together. Steve, what was the message to your team? You know, I, I just, you know, told them we got to play, you know, 40 minutes. I said, you know, we had some great moments. Even with a couple minutes left, we were only a possession away. Um, you know, we've come a long way in the program in a short time. Got a long ways to go. Uh, but I look forward to coming back and, and playing Seton Hall, making this a great rivalry again. And, uh, and I wish them Merry Christmas. They've got five minutes to enjoy, and we're off to Wisconsin. Uh, Thank you. Thanks for coming. Merry Christmas, everybody.